tires will exchange for a soul. Will his faith be saved? Let us now continue the story. Uh, amazing stuff. 
in a more rational way. Right? Nevertheless, I only offer my support. May the Lord bless you and preserve you and keep you, my dear brethren.
He conspired against God. And who are you to join him? Unhappy spirits <coughs> who read with Lucifer. Is that so? Well then, why did you agree to this For God's unfair. Have you seen heaven? It is only for immortals like me, and not for humans like you. For having been deprived of the joys of heaven, you should imitate fortune like mine. But you should do that at a later date, because I need you to send the message to you both this morning. I surrender my soul to the Prince of Hell. In return, I should have you as my servant for four and twenty hours to do my bidding, to serve under me, to tell me whatever I demand, to slay my enemies and to aid my friends. To be a resolution. Go now. We'll meet with my study and dinner. I will await you. If I have souls as many as the, star, as the stars in the night sky, I will give them all to my dear Mephistopheles. With him by my side, I'd be emperor of the world. I'd connect Africa and Spain, and all of it would be mine. But until then, I have to wait. Just continue to study the dark arts. Taking down this path, will I really be? 
forward Faustus in that famous art. Maybe you should just repent it. Forget all of this. <laughs> But prayer, contrition, repentance, what good is this to me? There are means to bring you to heaven. No. Forget God. I have devout to Lucifer and Lucifer alone. To him, I would even build an altar or a church. Yes. Postus, that's the path that you should take. For in the demon, everything should become what you want it to be. So God is so precious, He is never so generous. Yes. 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 But before all this, where is Mephistopheles? Is he is it not midnight? Supposed to be here by study. Come, Mephistopheles! There you go. What did your Lord say? He agrees, dear. Smart child.
go and take my contract back to your boys. Power of the devil is by my side. Yes. What should I do first? Maybe I should ask for maybe I should ask for more questions. <coughs> For answers to the knowledge I demand. <laughs> ah, you've returned. Now, I would like to know more about your dwelling place. What is this hell? Oh, a place of punishment. Total separation from God. I believe hell is a mere fable. Hell, you do not know how to feel you taste it for yourself. Is that so? And contract says this work. I will be down, right? But I remember you saying before that we already are in hell, for you've been deprived of God's great joys. Now, if this place were hell, I would be willing to down. I mean, disputing, sleeping, eating, this is all my life has to offer. Well, this satisfies me, but I must ask another thing. 
will make this world and ours, this glorious, beautiful world that you call God. I cannot answer that. I said, Watch your words, mortal. Do we, did we not have a deal to perform to tell me whatever I demand? Fine! Be gone with you, accursed spirit! Return to the depths of hell! Before Faustus. Lucifer convinced Faustus that there is no hope for his salvation. Not even Christ can save his soul. They also relate unto him that calling upon Christ's name is against the contract and that he should renounce all belief in God. Faustus vows to never look unto heaven once more. Lucifer still cannot answer Faustus' previous question but as compensation. He requested the presence of the seven deadly sins to prance in front of him. From here on forth, 
with Faust's newfound power, his mind was filled with many thoughts on what he was supposed to do. With Mephistopheles, he can perform any impossible feat with ease. Thus, Faustus had many adventures with the devil himself, serving under him. He used his powers for mischievous deeds. At one point, he went inside the Pope's court with the help of Mephistopheles, who made himself invisible, and played a series of tricks. He disrupted the Pope's pocket as he stole the food and punched the Pope's ears. was then invited to the court of the German Emperor, Charles V, who knows of his power. The Emperor requested that Faustus bring back the Alexander the Great for him to meet. With the power of Mephistopheles, such action was mere child's play to Faustus, and he conjured up the image of the once great Macedonian king and conqueror. Ave Cebu! Alexander the Great! <laughs> Magnificent! They do undergo a number of comic misadventures. At one point, they even manage to summon Mephistopheles, where things didn't go so well. Why have you summoned me? Yes, but only for our entertainment. Entertainment? Who do you think I am?
that I didn't do this. Oh, man, it wasn't so stupid. Why did I have to send my soul to hell? 24 years of wasted opportunity. There is no more hope, monsters. Your time is up. You! You fiend! Because of you! Because of you! I'm down! Because of you, I'm sentenced! Sorry, it's our real torch! You brought this upon yourself. Now you shall feel the pains of hell! <laughs> oh, Faustus, you're only heated by work. You have, you have no one of choice. Yes, instead, you'll listen to me. And now, you will face hell. What riches have you gained? All the pleasure. How could they save you now? will do nothing but vex you more. What you have here on earth, you cannot bring down from hell. You have truly lost celestial happiness. It is without end. You have affected your sweet divinity. To begin with, the devil has no power on you. But your choice changed. I pity you, Faustus. Such a good soul. Now I must take my hand, for uh, I am no longer such a And now, you will face through horror, into that vast torture house where the furies tossing the damned souls with burning witch force, their bodies boil in lead. Their living quarters, everything, roiling on the coals. Of course, you can never die here because you've already did. No, you know, just the sight of it. And you haven't even felt it. Oh, Faustus, you are so gullible. If only you heeded the good angel's warnings. I shall not take my leave till then. So, barely an hour left. It's midnight. Please, stop the clock. Let's not reach midnight. Give me another chance. I know. Yes, I, I jump up to heaven. Yes, someone will truly catch me. But no, 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 wait, no, not yet. Not yet. No. Robin, Dick, and Wagner. 
Number chain five. Mr. Brian Reno, Mr. Miguel Balog, Mr. Jose Zagari. For the woman that will Alexander the Great, we have <laughs> Mr. Russell <laughs> Valdez and Cornelius, we have Mr. Rosario Alabafaca and Mr. Hans Jaman. <laughs> to the good angel and the bad angel, we have Mr. Johan Chua and Mr. Kyle Park. Acting as Mephistopolis, we have Mr. Miko Murphy. In the main character of this play, acting as Dr. Faustus, we have Mr. Marco Iban. Would also like to comment the oil. We would also like to Thank the stage manager, Mr. Jose Manuel Dolo, and any patrons. We'd also like to thank the presence of our playwright, Mr. John Carlos Garcia. <laughs> and for those who then interacted the play, we would like to thank Mr. Max Oliques and Mr. Philip Pires as director. And, and acting as your narrator, truly yours, Mr. David Piscato.